hello friends in this video we are going to see about the metals non metals and how the uh, classification of metals okay so please see let's see here you can see here the materials are classified as now in previous video we have seen the classification of engineering materials so metal is one of the category of uh, material material classification so see so let me tell you first what do you mean by metals see guys metals are element substances that are readily give up electrons to form metallic bonds and conduct electricity i am repeating metals are element substances that readily give up electrons to form metallic bonds and conduct electricity now metals are those who readily form the metallic bonds and it is very good conductor of electricity then again when two or more pure metals are melted together to form a new metal whose properties are quite different from those the original metals is called an alloy please see now what do you mean by alloy is okay when two or more pure metals are melted together to form a new metal whose properties are quite different from those of the original metals is called an alloy so i think this content is beneficial for you for clearing the doubts about the metal and what do you mean by alloy is okay now what are the uh, examples of metal and alloy are please see examples are copper lead tin nickel and zinc okay so this is about the metals okay now let's see what do you mean by non metal is now you can see on this slide the non metal you can see this heading the non metal now what do you mean by non metal is see the non metals are those which lack all the metallic attributes see guys the non metals are those which lack all the metallic attributes it means the property which metal possesses non metals are not going to possess that properties very easy okay this is clear in this second line please see they are good insulators of heat and electricity whereas metals are good conductor of heat and electricity and what it is written here in non metals non metals are good insulators of heat and electricity it means they are very poor conductor of heat and electricity okay so this is the non metals possess exactly opposite properties than metals okay so see they are mostly gases and sometimes liquid some they are even solid at room temperatures like carbon sulfur and phosphorus okay so examples of non metals are please see example sulfur nitrogen selenium and bromine so all these are the examples of non metals okay now see guys we have seen the metals non metals okay metals are good conductor of electricity they are uh, readily uh, found form the metallic bonds now see what it is uh, written here and how uh, it means now types of metals okay now how metals are classified please see guys your metals are further classified classified into two main categories what your metals are further classified into two main categories and the categories are ferrous metals and non ferrous metals first one is ferrous metals and second one is non ferrous metals now what do you mean by ferrous metals please see ferrous metals are those metals which contains iron as main constituent please see ferrous metals are those metals which contains iron as their main constituent it means in ferrous metals iron present in more than 95% okay the main constituent or main part of that material or the large amount of uh, constituent of ferrous metals is made up of iron okay these are iron based metals iron based those metals which contain more amount of iron are comes under the category of ferrous metals what do you mean non ferrous metals non ferrous metals are those which do not contain iron as its main constituent please see non ferrous metals are those metals which do not contain iron as its main constituent okay exactly opposite to ferrous metals okay i have told you the ferrous means it is there iron based uh, materials and non ferrous is exactly opposite to your ferrous metals means non ferrous metals are those metals which do not contain iron as its main constituent okay so they contain iron but in very very less amount very less amount that is 1% 2% or less than 1 or 2% so that material comes under the category of non ferrous materials now let's see what are the examples of ferrous metals please see the examples of ferrous metals are cast iron wrought iron steel and alloy like high speed steel spring steel stainless steel etc okay all these are the please see all these are the alloys of and examples of ferrous metals 
कास्टर्न इज ए फेरस मेटल बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ आयरन रॉटर्न ऑल्सो इज अ फेरस एंड The alloy of ferrous metals are HSS, high speed steel. Okay, steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. Okay, so all these steels, all these steels comes under the category of ferrous metals because you know ferrous metals means what? Ferrous metals are those metals which contain iron as its main constituent. And examples of ferrous metals are cast iron, wrought iron, steel. And for your kind information, I want to tell you is steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. So whatever the steel is. Okay, all these steels are comes under the category of ferrous metals. Now let's see examples of non-ferrous metal. Now see here, we are definitely very clearly know that non-ferrous metals are those which do not contain iron as their major constituent. Okay, so examples of non-ferrous metals are what? Examples of non-ferrous metals are that is copper, aluminium, zinc, lead. and alloy like brass bronze and duralumin okay we have seen copper okay we have seen copper is a ductile material and aluminium means what and again zinc and we have seen uh, uh, on a video so many videos on copper alloys and aluminium previously my first video uh, on uh, this all the copper and uh, aluminium non ferrous metals and alloy so that you have seen uh, and you you have understood better so copper aluminium zinc and it their alloys all are comes under the category of non ferrous metals so this is the basic about the ferrous metals and non ferrous metals okay so it is very easy so uh, ident to identify the what is ferrous and what is non ferrous it is very simple just keep one thing in your mind those metals which contain iron as their major constituent those metals which contain iron in more than 95 or 96% then it all that materials are comes under the category of ferrous metals and those materials which do not contain irons as 95% uh, 96% it means that they do not contain iron iron as their major constituent so all that materials like copper aluminium zinc and their alloy are comes under the category of non ferrous metals thank you